In this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how to set up post-purchase upsells using the AfterSell app. Let's get started. This is my demo Shopify store. I've added a few products in this store to show you exactly how this app actually works. Now to get started, we need to install the AfterSell app. So click on the first link which is given in the video description, which will take you to this page. Here, click on this Install button. Then again, click on this Install button to fully install this app on your store. Next, it will ask you to select a plan for your store. You can see that it contains a free plan, but that is only available for development stores. To make full use of this app, you need to go ahead with a paid plan. And don't worry, every plan comes up with a 30-day free trial, which will help you get started with this app. And if this app doesn't bring you money in the first 30 days, you can simply cancel the paid plan. Once you select a plan and confirm, you'll be taken to this page. Here you need to select your industry, then add the referral source, and then simply check this box and continue. Next, it will give you two options. You can either create an upsell funnel, or you can start with editing the checkout. For now, I will skip both of these. This will take us to the AfterSell dashboard. When you scroll down, you'll see this setup guide. The first step is to enable the AfterSell app on your store. When you click on it, it will take you to the Shopify checkout settings. Here, in the Post Purchase page, you need to select the AfterSell app option and then hit the Save button. Next, I will simply close this tab and then click on this Refresh button here. All right, now we are all set to customize our store upsell funnel. So, I will go to Edit Funnel option here and then click on Create Funnel. Next, I will name this funnel as my main funnel. Then I can either choose a template or create a funnel from complete scratch. When you click on this View Details option, you'll be able to see the funnel template info. If you want to use a template, then you only need to select a discount percentage here and then click on this Save button. An AfterSell will create a complete upsell funnel for you within a few seconds. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will show you how to create a funnel from complete scratch. So I will select this option and then confirm. Next, I need to select triggers for this upsell funnel. Based on the trigger, the funnel will show upsells to the customers. I can either show this funnel for all customers, or I can select some different options, which will trigger this funnel based on the customer behavior. You can see dozens of options here. You can set the funnel to specific product or collection. You can set it based on order value, quantity, order history, and much more. For now, I want to enable this on a specific product, so I will select this option. Then I also have to select the products in which I want to trigger this upsell funnel. Right now, I have four different products in this store. For now, I will select these dumbbells as the main product, and later I will choose these other products as an upsell or downsell. Once it's done, I will click on this Save and Next button, which will take me to the next step. Here, you can see these three options. I can add a one-click upsell and downsell in this step. Remember the product that we added in the last step? As soon as someone will buy that product from our store, they will see this post-purchase upsell. When I click on this Select Product option, I will have the option to add single or multiple products. For now, I will select a single product, then a specific product option. Then I will select this resistance band as my upsell product and then hit the Save button. I also have the option to A-B test these upsells, which will allow us to run experiments with different products and choose the right fit for this section. Just like we added the resistance band, we can follow the same steps to add another product here. And then, if we start the A-B testing option, the customer will see any one of these two products after the checkout. If you are confused about what products to show as an upsell, you can consider this option. But for now, I will delete this second product. Next, we have the option to edit this upsell offer. When you click on this Edit Offer button, it will take you to the AfterSell editor. This is the post-purchase upsell page that my customers will see when they buy the dumbbells. On the left-hand side, you'll see all the editing options for this page. If I click on this text block, I will be able to edit this heading text at the top. Next, I can also add some subheading text here and then reposition it to the center. Now it is looking better. Next, we have the timer block. You can see the timer here at the end of this text box. Right now, it is set to 10 minutes. I will change it to 5 minutes. 
since the customers won't stay for 10 minutes anyway. You can also change the background color from here. I will set it to blue color. Next, we have the upsell product block. You can change the upsell product from this dropdown if you want to. We also have other settings here. For example, you can offer discounts on these upsells from here. You only need to select the discount percentage, and the discount will apply to the product. Next, we have shipping where I have two options. I will set it as free shipping. Next, we can increase or decrease the image size. You can also enable this option to show other images of this product. Next, we have button settings. Here, I will enable this option and then change the button text to buy now. We also have product settings here where you can enable the product reviews and quantity selector. Lastly, we have the layout settings where we can decide the layout for this page. We can either choose a two column layout or a single column layout. The two column layout only works in desktop mode. And if you go to the mobile view, you'll see that it contains a single column upsell. There are many other settings available here. You can click on this guides option where you'll get some detailed and step-by-step -step guides on each of these settings. For now, I will save all these settings and then exit this editor by clicking on this back button. Okay, our post-purchase upsell is now complete. Next, if the customer accepts this upsell, we can show them another upsell. And if they declined the offer, then we can show them a downsell here. First, let's set up the upsell. Simply click on select product and then choose the product that you want to show here. I will choose this hand gripper for this upsell. And then you can edit the offer page just like we did for the first upsell. Lastly, we need to add a downsell here. I will click on this select product button and then select a different product for this part. And then I will hit the save and continue button. Last but not least, we have the option to customize the thank you page. Simply click on this edit button and then you'll be taken to this page where you can add different extensions to your page. You can add things like fake use, testimonials, images, and much more. Personally, I don't like to add these stuffs as I prefer to have a simple thank you page for the customers. So I will simply go back and then I will enable this option to activate this post-purchase upsell funnel. And then I will hit this save button to save all these changes. And just like this, we've successfully created our first upsell funnel. You can click on this Add Funnel option to create more upsell funnels depending upon different triggers. We also have the Manage Priority button, where you can set the funnel based on priority. Next, on the left-hand side, you can see the checkout page. Aftersell also allows you to customize the default Shopify checkout page. You can see these different widgets here. You can add these widgets into your checkout page to make it more attractive and conversion-friendly. By using the Upsell widget, you can show the upsells directly on your checkout page. These widgets can be really helpful to enhance the look and feel of your checkout page. But the only issue is that the checkout widgets don't work for all types of Shopify stores. These widgets only work on stores that are using Shopify Plus plans. So if you are using Shopify Plus plans, these widgets can be really helpful for you. All right, now it's time to check if the upsells are working or not. So I will go to my online store and then select the product that I've selected for the upsell. To try the upsell, we need to enable a test payment on Shopify. So I will go back to the dashboard and then go to settings on the bottom left. Here, I'll go to payments and then enable a test payment on this store. All right, now I will again go to the online store and then select the dumbbells. I'll click on this buy now button, which will take me to the checkout page. Here, I will enter the contact details and other information. Since we are using a test payment gateway, you can enter some dummy details in these sections. And then I'll click on Pay Now button. And this will take me to the first upsell offer. On the top left, you can see that the purchase is already confirmed. And then we've got this upsell offer. You can see that all the changes that we made on the offer page are visible here. So I will click on this Buy Now button. And this will take me to the second upsell offer. This is the second offer that we created in our main funnel. For now, I will decline this offer. And this will take me to the thank you page. And you can see that due to these upsells, the store has made an extra sale of $19. Okay, now I also want to check the downsell offer. So I will click on this continue shopping button, which will take me to the store homepage. 
Here, I will click on this product once again. Next, I will click on this Buy Now button, fill in all the payment information here, and then confirm. This will again take me to the upsell page, but this time I will decline this offer. And since I declined the offer, it will take me to the downsell offer. I will simply add this on my test order. And now we are taken to our store thank you page, which means that the upsells and downsells are working perfectly fine. Now that we've set up the upsells, the next step for us would be to work on our store loading speed. You see, during the checkout process, we need to make sure that the store speed is very fast. A fast loading Shopify store not only provides a good shopping experience, but also important to build trust with your customers. And I've created a detailed tutorial on how you can boost your Shopify store speed in just four simple steps. Click here to watch the full video, and I will see you there.